What's going on YouTube for us here? Hope you guys are doing well. Yesterday I talked about Call of Duty not caring and that they've kind of just given up more or less. At least that's how it feels from a community standpoint. You know, if you're a player that's trying to play MW3, it doesn't appear as if that this game is getting much in the way of consistent updates. Because there's feedback that this community has given consistently to Sledgehammer Games, to Infinity Ward, to Activision on quantifiable improvements that would help the overall health of the game. I mean, how many times do I need to mention the anti-cheat? How many times do I need to talk about spawns and server consistency? These things matter to the community, but they're just being left alone. They're not being addressed, and it's frustrating. So with that being said, though, even though that we know they've given up from that aspect, the thing that matters to them, the thing that they're holding near and dear to their heart, the microtransactions, are actually diminishing as well. I mean, this all started when they released that first cosmetic bundle pack for 3,400 COD points by quote-unquote accident. Don't worry, guys. Complete accident. They didn't mean to do that. They reverted it, and they even made you look like the good guys by having an extra 1,000 COD points given to you because you overspent. Don't worry. It was a mistake. What you can't see right now is I'm doing the air quotes. Because it most certainly wasn't a mistake. Like I mentioned when it happened, it was all a test. It was all them seeing if they could exploit this community even further. But what you're seeing on screen right now is their latest bundle that is getting absolutely torched online. Because the question has to be asked. Who's buying this? Why is it in the game? And who made this? There used to be somewhat decent cosmetics in the shop. Not cosmetics that I'd buy personally because, hey, this game does not warrant me spending additional money on it but this cosmetic is maybe the worst thing i've ever seen not only is it clear that it just doesn't belong in call of duty it's just like a bad cosmetic i mean it's still the same price so 2400 cod points and you get this weird looking mech thing i i don't really understand the point of this but this brings me back to the point that i was making yesterday where they've just stopped caring this is what they're doing to cosmetics, the thing that makes them the money, the cash cow that they have, the last thing they can cling on to to show that they're successful. And they've kind of mailed that in too. I mean, they made Walking Dead characters, and that was their big thing for Season 2. But outside of that, what have they done that's memorable? Really, like from a cosmetic standpoint, what could have been a really cool season, especially trying to fall within that zombie theme they could have made some awesome skins. They could have done some really cool things, and they just didn't because they don't care. And I know this sounds like I'm regurgitating the same point as yesterday, but more or less what I'm doing is trying to reinforce the argument I made yesterday by saying that, yes, in fact, they don't care. And it's evidenced by the way they're handling cosmetics recently, which is the main thing that they care about, which is the real shocker here. I mean... Am I really that surprised that servers haven't been addressed, that spawns, once again, haven't been addressed? Yes and no. Obviously, in a perfect world, a development team that actually cared about the quality of their product would try to enhance it, would try to improve it. But this is Call of Duty we're talking about. They've left quality out the door a long time ago. They left that behind. They made sure that past development teams took that with them. Optimization? No. Heavens no. Usability? No, no, we don't care. We want to make our UI as complicated as possible. We want to make sure every time you load up into Call of Duty, you have to restart the game. We want to make sure we complexity... That's, that's not even close to a word. We want to make sure the experience is as complex as possible. But we want to make sure that the storefront is as easy as possible to navigate we want to make sure that that's the aspect that is the easiest for people to pick up and understand don't care about anything else their priorities have been very clear for a long time which gets me back to my point i was making that this is the avenue they're going down with the microtransactions they've given up they've slapped their hands they've said okay we're good here we're done it's like at the end of an master chef episode when they, they say hands up that's what they've done Hands up. We're done. We're good. Game over. We don't care. We don't need to care. A and it's evidence that is just staring you in the face. If it wasn't the gameplay, it's now the microtransactions. 
which leads me to believe that Call of Duty 2024 Black Ops Golf War is going to be complete and utter disaster. And I might fall into this over the next couple days and dive into why I think it's going to be a disaster because I honestly think it will. I talked about how earlier this year Modern Warfare 3 was going to be a make it or break it game for this community, for this franchise, because it was supposed to be a proof of concept. Show me that you're going to be able to do things to make the game better. Show me that you're going to follow through with your words, with actions. Because the old saying goes, actions speak louder than words. And what we know now is that the words that they were saying at the beginning of the year had no action behind them. They were just words. They were fluff. There was nothing of substance actually being meant by saying that. They weren't going to support this game. They weren't going to revolutionize the Call of Duty experience. They weren't going to do anything for this community. They wanted to make sure their bottom line was maintained, and that was it. So when you have such a make-and-break-it year for Call of Duty, and this is what you deliver, what does that mean for next year? When I guarantee you the expectations are not going to be as high. The community is not going to be as invested into trying and accepting your game and trying to make sure it's good. No, instead, what you're going to have is you're going to have people that are just kind of like over it. I'm going to be one of those people. I'm going to be over it too because why would I even give a second to this franchise anymore when they've shown me time and time again that they're not worthy of my time. They're not worthy of my energy. They're not worth it to care about. And as long as X Defiant releases and is good, I can see myself playing that or maybe I just have to walk away from gaming altogether. Maybe I become a single player commentator now and just tell you guys about how Video games are, are awful or something like that. I don't know. I, I really don't know what single player gamers are complaining about these days. Is Spider-Man 2 still a big controversial thing? I, I'm not sure. But anyways, I digress. I want to get back to the main point, which is talking about these cosmetics and talking about the microtransactions here in Modern Warfare 3. It was very apparent a long time ago that this was going to be their sole focus. This is what they want to ensure maintains the health of Call of Duty long term. And unfortunately, what we've seen over the course of this year, and I'd even argue for bits and pieces last year, it showcases their laziness. They're just kind of skating along, seeing what they can get away with, making sure that minimal effort can be implemented and no one really notices. But the community is starting to notice and they're starting to realize and wake up and, and say, these cosmetics sort of suck. They're not great. They're not worth the value that you're associating with them. A and it's great to see on one hand, but on the other, is it actually going to implement change? Is it going to create a ripple effect so the people that need to realize that Call of Duty is not in the position that we all think it is can actually start to change the trajectory of this franchise? It's a lot to ask. It really is. But boy, would it be nice to just have some positives to talk about for once. Something new. Something different. Please. That's all I'm asking for. I don't think it's too much. I think we're going down an avenue that can bear some pretty awesome opportunities. But they need to recognize the failures that they've implemented within this franchise. They need to recognize that. They need to know they can do better and they should do better. But that's it for the video today. That's all the time I'm going to have. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, can you please hit that like button? If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. Let me know with a comment down below whether or not you'd buy this skin. Let's say the skin was $2, $1. Would you buy it for that price? Because I know I wouldn't. This thing is garbage. Even if I was buying cosmetics in Call of Duty... This thing is absolute trash. But that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.